And I want to talk a, a bit about the Dega games and the fuck up somewhat more right now. So, you guys know that uh, Dega games has been fucking up a lot as of recent. And they have been getting compensation stuff, you know, they have been giving compensation stuff. Is that really worth their fuck ups, honestly? Because I'm quite wondering right now to myself, like, I don't believe that. Uh, their fuck ups and this compensation stuff, you know, I I believe that we should get some better compensation because they they have given out another 14 days of a login event shit, and I'm like, don't really need this honestly. What I do need is something that I can look forward to, you know, because one season 18 shot isn't going to get me anywhere, ma mainly because I'm a free to play player. <laughs> so, yeah, and. I, I spent 400 gems this way, yeah, I spent 400 gems. 400 gems in Francis equals 200k, by the way, with a, with a couple of gifts and just free to play. So, just so you guys know, that is exactly, um, yeah, all you need to know, honestly, about a why. If you, if you want to get uh, top 15, just have a minimum of 500 gems. That's it. That's, that's about it. But, a question that I'm forwarding to you guys. Do you think that Deka Games and their uh, login event compensation stuff... It's worth it compared to their fuck ups because a weekend of no events should honestly be something different for me. You know, that, that, that should be something um, better. You know, we should have been given some more, more gems in terms of compensation. We got uh, two weeks of compensation in terms of arena, uh, energy, epic walls, energy, blah, blah, blah. But when is the time that they fix that shit instead of focusing on new events? Because honestly, I want the gems back in arena. I want the gems back in Epic Balls. Where the fuck are those things? And yeah, I know that you guys sometimes don't like me swearing, but I am quite getting pissed at this because they are they keep focusing on Christmas events and login events. I honestly don't give a flying fuck. I want those glitches to be sorted out first, and then you can give me all the events that you want, because the events that you give us are fucked up by the way. You know, and I don't need, I don't I, I can't form any words because you know I, I if I were to run a game I would fix the glitches and the problems that the community has and the game has first before I go to the other part meaning like you know new events you know that they, they also have a, a new map incoming is what they said or they have uh, plans on a new map and I'm like sure but what about this? You know, what about the arena? When are you going to fix that? Because I'm kind of getting... Or when are you going to fix the raid milestones? Because, as we all might know, the raids, here it comes. When you do this, we're rank 9. Wow. Amazing. I need to put a level 3 up for myself. Because <laughs> I'm this bad at this. Um, you know, let's just focus on this. Let's see how many points we can get. If it, Yeah, we can get about above 500. Okay, that's cool. So, yeah, I'm not going to kill the level 3, I don't, I don't really care, I don't really give a shit either. But look, I made this milestone. Not getting it. Look. Because I will get this after the raid. When are you going to fix this, Deka Games? When are you going to fix the fucking milestones in Arena? When are you going to fix the fucking milestones in Epic Balls? I really don't give a flying fuck about new events if you don't have your current events lined up properly and if the new events that you put up suck too what a company are you honestly and i don't know how this went from a recap to me ranting and actually getting pissed at, at deka games for doing this but this honestly is just complete shit of a company to do you know that if you put up new events make sure that they work properly and make sure the old events work properly too. End of rant. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I hope to see you all again next time.